all right guys welcome back to the channel this time we're going to be taking care of the uh, transmission fluid in the 2000 ford excursion i've been meaning to do this for a long time ever since i got the damn thing so uh, i think now is about you know time to do it so i picked up the uh, oil filter one of the things uh, we're going to change in it gasket and it's always good to have some uh, rtv handy to put on both sides of the gasket if needed I'm pretty sure just to kind of keep it um, as an adhesive on there, I think it will be good. You're going to need a 13 mil socket and also a 10 mil. 13 is for the drain plug, 10 mil is for all the uh, bolts around the pan because we're going to be dropping the pan obviously. So ratchet, this little pick, is. Uh, we're probably going to need this just to get this ring out. Sometimes it gets stuck underneath uh, inside the uh, tubing. And I picked up some uh, five course to be exact of the uh, uh, Mercon 5 or Mercon V uh, transmission oil. And I know it doesn't say motor, uh, Motorcraft or whatever, you know, Ford uses. Uh, but I'm going to use this. It's still Mercon. So uh, that's what they recommend. Uh, so I got it. Now we're going to get underneath this thing and we'll drain the oil and drop the pan. Let's get to it. everyone we got the pan out and as you guys can see the uh, filter fell with it so I honestly think this thing was just sitting in there it wasn't even hooked it might have been kind of dried out or maybe even slipped out so there's that old gasket now this gasket is a reusable one but I I don't trust these um, I'm gonna clean it out anyway just to see what kind of condition it's in see like right there see how it's all ripped yeah so we probably won't be using this i mean i already have an, a new gasket it's not the reusable one that i bought but uh it should do the job i mean using that rtv because i mean see these things it's been uh it's been ripped off like all these corners a little bit so but whoever did the job i mean uh, it was pretty good or it might have been just the original one and no one has ever done the um, the oil change in this uh, transmission so we're gonna go ahead and clean this thing out and the one of the important things are the the magnet that are in here somewhere once I clean this out there it is I can actually feel it in there so once I dump this uh, oil out and clean this out, I'll show you guys we need to clean that magnet out too because there's all that crud and the, uh, the metal shavings or whatever it is that gets uh, stuck to that magnet. Which Alright, so there's that magnet that I was telling you guys about. It's that drain plug. You guys see all that, 
all that stuff that stuck to it, which is awesome. We're gonna clean that out too, as well as the whole pan. And there's that old gasket. They did use a bunch of RTV on it, which is good. So that's gonna get tossed. There's that old oil. I mean, it's pretty, uh, pretty dark. I see uh, some red, but there was a lot of uh, bad stuff in here too. So hopefully, I mean, the transmission working fine. It's just that hopefully it's not damaged anything internal. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this up now. All right, guys. So you guys are probably wondering why I have this thing covered up, the pan. Uh, I actually went ahead one step ahead and cleaned the pan. I got it painted. Nice little three coat cover. Then paint the plug. Didn't uh, see my need to, but I went ahead and did that. Cleaned the inside, of course. Nice and clean. I'm gonna do a final scuffing up of the surrounding before I put the, uh, the gasket in or on. And definitely going to be using some RTV pretty much on both sides. Thin layer, but on both sides. And I did all the bolts, just paint them, you know, just some, uh, just a match. And the magnet, as you guys can see, as you guys can see, nice and clean. That's what it really looks like. That goes right there. Catches all the shavings and all the crud and everything. So now we're gonna give it a final wipe and gas is gonna go on and the um, RTV is gonna go on. But first thing before putting the pan, do not forget your new filter. So. I know I took the old one out. The old one's actually was sitting inside the, uh, the pan. So put the new filter in. I'll show you guys that in a second. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the pan on. So let's go ahead and get that done.
guys. So the pan is in and I went ahead because of the RTB I tightened them but not torqued them. You want to leave this thing for about an hour for the um, RTB to cure a little bit, harden up and then you'll come back in an hour. I'll come back in an hour and I'll torque each one of these to spec and I'll put it on uh, on the screen what the torque specs are for these and we are going to go crisscross starting from center going crisscross outward so that's going to be next <laughs> So you guys saw me torquing all of the 20 bolts for the pan and the uh, drain plug. So it was uh, 10 to 12 pound feet for uh, each one of the pan bolts. And then for the drain plug, it was 18 to 20 pound feet. And now we're just gonna let it sit. As you guys can see, the RTV is oozing out a little bit. It needs to cure overnight. We're not gonna add any fluid until this thing is cured overnight. So we're gonna come back tomorrow and we're gonna fill this thing up. And I did get some extra oil because it does need a little over six and a half uh, quarts. So we're gonna measure that out and uh, we'll put that in. And guys so what you want to do next is uh, basically just go through all the gears let the uh, temperature uh, I guess the temperature of the oil come up to the the temperature needed or get hot and then just go through all the gears uh, just stationary and uh, add some more oil as needed uh, check the dipstick add some more if it's uh, up to the level then you're all good to go and take it for a test drive check for any leaks uh, that's what I'm gonna do next after uh, this thing gets uh, ready and uh, filled up. So um, This is how you change the transmission oil in a uh, Ford excursion and this is the same thing with the uh, F-250s, F-350s of this time. So uh, All the same. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.